Steve Jobs said, simple thinking can be harder than complex. And you have to work really hard to get your thinking simple and clean. But once you get there, simple thinking can help you move mountains. We'll talk about that in trading next. G'day traders, I'm Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading. Down at the park again, just had a good workout with the dogs. Today we're gonna to be talking about simple, simple thinking, simple trading systems, keeping everything simple and how that can help you in long-term success. I want everybody to look at what they've done the last few weeks, last week, their last session in trading and ask yourself some really simple questions. Did you do everything possible to execute your system flawlessly to keep your trading really simple to stick to your plan that you had at the end of the week to stick to your money management and position sizing goals to stick to the trade execution plan that you had did you manage that process flawlessly were you skipping time frames were you system jumping you know ask yourself some really simple questions did you do everything really possible within your control to keep everything really simple to execute and to stick to the goals that you set for yourself at the beginning of the week one of the things you have to really consider you know in trading trading is the, the battlefield is um, multifold there's so many different types of trading systems and traders out there but why do you think they call them the smart money the, the money that moves the markets they know every single thing every trick in the book that retail traders are going to try and use to trade with the brokers know this. If you've watched Anton Creel's videos on how the, the whole trading industry works and how the markets work in terms of the, the money and the leveraging and the, you know, the, the story that's been told to the retail public. They need new, new clients constantly coming in to bring new money to the markets. The odds are stacked against us as retail traders. So you have to be constantly looking at where the edge lies. You know, I talked about longer time frames. I talked about, you know, Peter Brandt's books and, and you know, ultimately risk management is the one thing that, that is our ace in the hole. Uh, because if you're managing your risk capital, you're protecting yourself from blowing up. And the longer you can stay in the game and, and work on constant progress, hopefully the better you're going to be and the better your results are going to be. But if you're entering the markets with you know emotional impulsive or rational disoriented behavior you're going to blow yourself up it's only a matter of time we talked about brent penfold's risk of ruin um, understanding positive expectancy uh, you know again all these little little things that will hopefully ensure your success in the markets you have to be creative you have to be coming up with new ideas you have to be testing them because you're gonna you're gonna have a you know if you can read it in, in a, a book or find it in a you know an online course or you know most likely it, it it's the market already knows that it's gonna work some of the time it's not gonna work all of the time but this is where you need to understand where your risk management comes into play um, constantly remind yourself the smart money knows where you're at and so assuming that your next trade is going to be wrong limit your downside but at the same time be looking for new ideas little little um, areas where you can possibly have three or four or five different types of trade ideas that will hopefully allow your overall um, you know equity curve to be moving in an upwards direction it's a tough game this is a you know, it's the, as I say, the hardest way to make easy money. But at the end of the day, if you focus on constant progress and you're, and you're, you know, I talk about getting my seven step daily routine for high performance traders. You have to be working at this on a daily basis. Ray Dalio, uh, hedge fund, they spend a hundred million dollars a year on research to try and, you know, maintain their edge and look for new ideas. They're, they're spending that much to just constantly work on maintaining their edge in the markets. So as retail traders, my question to you is that you, don't, you may not have the $100 million to spend, but are you putting in the time and the effort to, number one, simplify, number two, protect your capital, and number three, come up with new ideas and manage your mindset to remain emotionally oriented with trading the markets? Um, you know, the elite are the elite for one reason only, and, and the best traders out there have yet to be discovered. Um, so if you have an idea, you know, and somebody else 
thinks it's ridiculous, who cares? Test it out for yourself. I'm constantly looking at little ideas that I've pieced together from different, different types of strategies, but I'm looking you know, to simplify. Uh, but my number one uh, you know, thing that I try to work on constantly is protecting my capital. And at the same time, when I've got an edge and I've got an, an opportunity and I have a chance to push size and still manage my risk, I'm going to do that. You have to get uncomfortable with being, you have to be comfortable with, with getting uncomfortable. That's the only way you're going to be able to scale up. Uh, you know, time obviously can be in your, on your side if you're, you know, the turtle approach with taking those small trades, but the frequency has to be there. And you have to be, again, have to have that positive edge expectancy showing in your account growth. So just understand the smart money knows. So keep working on getting better and, um, you know, maintain that edge. But do not assume that, you know, you're going to pick up a book or an e-book e or a course and just all of a sudden start trading a strategy that it's going to work all the time. So um, I guess the point of today is just to remind you that uh, the best just keep working on uh maintaining their edge and getting better and the great thing about trading is that uh, different from athletics is that you're not going to wear out because of physical uh, injuries or wear and tear or biology or time you can only keep getting better traders so how good can you get stay focused stay disciplined keep working at it keep getting better protect your capital and may the markets go with you hi traders it's stacy burke from stacy burke trading if you haven't done so, please head over to my website at stacyburktrading.com. I create updates on almost a daily basis and I would love for you to receive them. Just click on the blog. If you want to enter your name and your email address, I'll send you my free audio program, The 7 Step Daily Routine for High Performance Traders. This is essential knowledge for all traders in all markets. And this is for helping traders to master the market with discipline, confidence and a winning mindset. I appreciate all your feedback and comments. As always, traders, stay disciplined and may the markets go with you.